Okay, friends, in this one, let's take a look at finding the following limit. The limit as x approaches here is 0. Now, the limit will be of this form, sine of 2x divided by 3x. First, it might be helpful if you graph this so you can see what the limit is just by a graphical estimate. So at least you feel it. So if I do that, I'm going to have the following in here that I have to put in. Sine of 2x, I'm going to divide this by 3x this way. When I look at the graph, let's zoom in on the relevant area. So the relevant area is about right here. See? Let's see. So that's a value that's about right there, a little above 0.6. So maybe it's, I say, 0 0.67, 0 0.66, something like that. So to actually find the limit, let's go to the process as follows. You want to make this look like the following. The limit as x approaches 0, and then this should be the following in here. The sign of an expression, and on the bottom, <laughs> You want the same expression this way, as much as possible. Right now we have 2x and 3x as a different expressions. So this is not good thus far, but we'll make it work. So take a look. Limit as x approaches 0. I remember a basic thing that we can do in math is to multiply by a form of the number 1. So I can do that here by typing the following. I can have, say, 2 over 2 times the rest of it there, which would be the sine of 2x divided by 3x. Now, this 2 over 2 here, why did I choose that? Well, I chose that because, you see, then I can take the 2 that's in red there, and I can move it into the bottom of the fraction, and I can put it together with the x, and that's going to give me a sine of an expression over that same expression. That's why. And also remember that 2 divided by 2 is 1. So just like when you work with equivalent fractions, it's the same principle that's being used here, essentially. Next stage, so limit as x approaches 0, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to write this as, for now, 2. And what I'm doing next is, I'm going to take this 3 here, so kind of separate it, look. This 3 in blue, and I'm going to move it out, I'm going to place it with the 2 there, like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to regroup the rest of it, so that it looks like the following, sine of 2x over 2x. I took this 3 in blue, and I put it in the bottom here. And I take the 2 in red, and I moved it over to the x this way. And now I have a sine of 2x over 2x. There's a basic rule where it says the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of an expression over the same expression. This is always equal to 1. So this is applicable here, because now what we have is 2 thirds in this position. That's essentially a, a constant that you can pull outside the limit. So you can write the following then, in other words, right here. 2 thirds. And then the limit as x approaches here is 0. And the leftover part would be of the following form then. Sine of 2x divided by 2x. Sine of 2x over 2x is 1 in the limit. So it becomes basically 2 thirds times 1, which is, of course, in the very end, 2 thirds. And then this is the answer. Approximated, so 2 thirds is about equal to, look at it. That's about 0.67. So back in the graph... Let me grab a line. That's also about 0.67 from here to about here. So it kind of confirms what the graph says. Let me kind of move this over into this position. It's about right there. See? Thank you, friends. Please leave a like and subscribe. I hope it's been helpful. I'll see you in another video.